Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 852. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 850 to 853, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we want to calculate standard deviation given a certain criteria. So I need standard deviation for Seattle. Now I want to compare and contrast two methods. If you have a bunch of categories with different criteria for calculating your standard deviation, you're going to have, we're going to have to do an array formula. But if you just have one criteria, there's a great way to do it with database functions. All right, standard deviation. Standard deviation means we're going to go through this column, find all the Seattle's, and then get the values, right? And calculate standard deviation. Standard deviation is a measure of variability or dispersion. It is particularly good when you have uh, means, that's a type of average, and you want to calculate how reliable your mean is. That is really one of the best uses for standard deviation. All right, so let's see how to do it when you have many categories. There's the ST. DEV functions, dot P for population data, dot S for sample data. These are new in 2010. In earlier versions, if you have sample, use STDEV and the P1 for population. I'm going to use the 2010 one. Now, we don't want all of the values. We want just the ones that are Seattle. So we have to use the IF function to dump into this number argument just the numbers we want. So we say if logical test, you highlight the column with the cities. You say anytime that is equal, oops, backspace. I'm going to lock these. I forgot to hit the F4 key. F4 to lock it. Anytime anything is equal to that. That one's a relative reference. So as we copy it down, it goes to Tacoma and Oakland. Logical test, that's going to deliver a bunch of trues and falses. The trues for Seattle will then comma get our value. So in the value if true, we highlight the values. So this is a great way of just picking out the numbers that are associated with Seattle. I'm going to hit the F4 key and lock it, because we're copying this down. Close parentheses, we don't need that value of false. And then close parentheses on standard deviation. Now the thing about this formula, which makes it a little bit harder, harder than this one down here, logical test is expecting a single true or false. We gave it a bunch. If I hit the F9 key, you can see we gave it a bunch. So this means means it's an array formula. So you have to enter it into the cell with special keystrokes. You hold Control and Shift and tap Enter. 1.1547 curly brackets right there. I have speak cells on Enter. I think I'll turn, turn off speak on Enter. Notice when I click up there, they go away. And if I hit Enter, meaning I edited it or something, if I hit Enter without Control Shift Enter, it's going to give me an error. No curly brackets. F2. To put it in edit mode, Control Shift Enter is how you properly enter an array form. You can see those curly brackets. Double click and send it down. That's absolutely the way you want to do it if you have many categories. But there's a great, easy way to do this. If you just want Seattle, you can use a database function. Equals D, there's things like D average, D sum, but there's also a D S T D E V. That one's for sample, this one's for population. You have to have a proper database with your field names at top. So I'm going to highlight the entire database. Uh, control asterisk. No, that doesn't work. So Control Shift, right arrow, and then left arrow. I'm never copying this anywhere. And that is the disadvantage of these uh, D functions. It's very hard, we'll see as these arguments, to copy it and have more than one criteria. But no problem, the database. Comma, and then you have to tell it the field you want to do the calculation. Now you could put in parentheses value, right? I'm sorry, in double quotes, but I'm going to be safe here. I'm just going to highlight. That means, hey, that's the field I want to make the calculation upon. And then the criteria. You have to list the field name and the criteria. So that really is what makes the D functions difficult sometimes when you have many criteria. That's why the if version up here is a little bit better. But if you have just one criteria, this is the way, and a proper database, this is the way to go. Close parentheses and just enter. All right, so the STDEV function or standard deviation and if. All right, see you next video.